Well, last night, Horsehead's lacrosse did the unthinkable. The Blue Raiders top state power Ithaca to open up the season, and it was a long time coming. Horseheads topped the Little Red 14-10 and beat them for the first time since 1998. So yeah, 16 years is a long time to wait for a win. What's even sweeter on top of this is that Ithaca has won the section multiple years in a row. And get this, Horseheads was even trending on Twitter after the win. So big time stuff there. Ian Cook put up seven goals in the win. And for the guys, this is the way to start. Going from last year losing the Ithaca by more than 15 goals and now beating them, it was a great feeling. It's always been a dream to beat Ithaca. It was, it was surreal. They played as a team. Everybody moved the ball and had to make right decisions at the right time, so it was awesome. All right, well, moving on now to some baseball. The 2014 National Baseball Hall of Fame class is stacked. On this year's list, one of the greatest managers of all time and the pride of New York. Former Yankees manager Joe Torrey was in Cooperstown to visit the hall yesterday before his induction this summer. Now, Torrey was a multi-World Series champion for the Bronx Bombers and now works in the MLB's commissioner's office as the executive VP of baseball operations. Of course, he played and managed for other teams, but as for his induction, there's only one, New York. You know, internationally known, you know, who, who that, uh, what that hat, or who that hat belongs to, or what team it associates with, it's, it's, it's a great honor going in as a, as a Yankee. And how about this cool stuff right here? Speaking of Halls of Fame, I visited the National Toy Museum in Rochester over the weekend and saw this game Earl Weaver Baseball. Now Weaver is in the Baseball Hall of Fame and he coached for the Elmira Pioneers from 1962 to 65 before he passed away last January. That game right next to electronic football with the uh, red dots. That's always pretty cool. Awesome stuff and uh, a great talk. <laughs> I love that place. Well, big day for Cornell football. It's Jeff Matthews tomorrow. The star quarterback will partake in Cornell Pro Day on campus where NFL scouts will show up and analyze his talent. Matthews holds every major quarterback record in Big Red history. He's projected as a late round pick in next month's NFL draft. So some big stuff tomorrow up there in Ithaca. And also got to say a little shout out to uh, Nate Niles, who's here tonight, sitting right over there. Uh, he's a shadow for us tonight. And also Horsehead's uh, school today, high school, Kathy Sisti's sports marketing class. Thank you guys for a great time today.